ahead. You're looking at one of TV's hottest tunks before he hit the big time. I will not retire. We'll tell you who it is next. And Welcome back to a current affair in Manhattan Central Park. Not too far from here, not too long ago, a star was born. Back then, he was just another tall, lanky kid on the mean streets of Brooklyn. Today, he rules those same streets with the law on his side, even if it is only in TV land. Mary Garofalo traces the roots of NYPD Blues' Jimmy Smith. I don't know what it is about Brooklyn. It's something in the air. I don't know if it's the hot dogs and Nathan's or cheese chicken <laughs> juniors or... Uh... I don't know. This is what Jimmy Smith had to say in 1991, when the borough of Brooklyn bestowed its highest honor on him, King of Brooklyn. Well, whatever it is about Brooklyn, it's the place 39-year-old Smiths began the career that made him into the Emmy Award-winning actor he is today. I would move to dismiss any and all claims from Mackenzie Brackman, Cheney, and Kuzak. Opposed? Furthermore... Before Jimmy made it big as attorney Victor Cifuentes on L.A. Law, and before he replaced David Caruso on the smash hit NYPD Blue, Smiths grew up in the tough Brooklyn neighborhood of East New York, where he attended Gershwin Junior High. Guidance counselor Bernard Dombrowski remembers Smiths as an average student, but a very outgoing and earnest pupil. He was voted most popular, which was very, very fitting, but he was not voted most talented. I think his good looks of, of today, he was just growing into at the time because he was a tall, lanky kid. Smiths knew that he wanted to be an actor at a very young age. Rhoda Olenoff Pollock was his drama teacher. My assessment is that probably had he not had this, He's a bright boy. Don't let me misguide you. A very bright boy, academically. I think that if he didn't latch on to this, he might have gone very wrong. Smiths was definitely a leader. He was voted president of the student organization in 1969, at a time when much of the country's young people were rebelling from authority. Smiths was no different, and once led the students in a school protest. He just took them all out, brought them back in. But he emptied the whole school, 1,200 kids on the street. Smiths went on to attend Thomas Jefferson High School, and the 70s look was very much in for the now short-haired actor. Classmate Renee Hunt O'Connor remembers him as quite the sex symbol, even then. A lot of girls like Jimmy. But, uh, you know, um, they would just see him and say, oh, he is gorgeous. <laughs> Uh, back then he had long hair and he used to, you know, wear it parted in the middle. He used to sweep girls off their feet. On his feet, he was quick and a fine athlete, but quit football to pursue his one goal, acting. Retired football coach Mo Finkelstein never forgot the one that got away. When Jimmy decided to go into uh, drama acting and uh, decided to leave football, I was disappointed because I knew that the following year he'd be a great football player. That. Uh, Probably all the major colleges would recruit him because he was a good student also. Smiths enrolled into Brooklyn College in 1976 and majored in drama. Professor Samuel Leiter directed Smiths in this play, Terracoya. Yes, that's Smiths wearing the white face makeup. But I will not retire until I have more scrupulous leave. He had this quality about him that allowed him to be flexible enough to play a wide variety of parts rather than being cast in one particular kind of role all the time. Smiths went on to get his master's degree at Cornell University, where he met up with director Michael Hillier. Hillier says Smiths had a way of composing himself after certain performances. Jimmy used to disappear for about a half hour after the show. I mean, he didn't get out of makeup and costume with the rest of the actors. He'd go off to one of the rehearsal rooms or something and just try to get his stuff together and come down from the experience. Smiths is no stranger to the silver screen. As well as the hit TV show, NYPD Blue, he's starring in the feature film, My Family, which traces the struggles of one Latino family over three generations. I think the wonderful thing about the script is that, although this is a Latino family, this can be any family. You know, this is a family, this is what, like, America is about. In real life, Smiths is a divorced father of two, but maintains a strong relationship with his family, daughter Taina and son Joaquim. Smiths now lives with actress Wanda De Jesus. You can take Smiths out of Brooklyn, but you can never take Brooklyn out of Smiths. Welcome back to... Welcome back to...
welcome back to All right. He never forgets his roots, but most importantly, the people he has touched along the way never forget him. Let me tell you, the time when he went on the show, my telephone was like fireworks. Everybody, all of, all of the students, all the people who went to school with him was calling because we were, I don't want to cry on TV. <laughs> so excited that someone we went to school with made it. NYPD Blue is on hiatus now, but Jimmy Smith will be back with the show next season. When we come back, O.J. Simpson is trying to...